Hello everyone. Welcome to another tutorial on Python programming. In this tutorial, I'm going to configure PyCharm post installation. So we have saw in the previous tutorial how to install PyCharm. Once the PyCharm is installed, you can go ahead and configure some of the key settings that will be helpful in further tutorials. So after launching PyCharm, just go to this uh, configure dropdown, click on preferences and here you will see a lot of options available that you can uh, customize in PyCharm. It's not possible to go through each of these options uh, one by one, but I'll cover some of the key options that will be really helpful for you in further tutorials. Uh, the first thing is around the appearance and behavior. So appearance, as you have saw that we have chosen light theme while we were doing the installation. So you can change the theme here from appearance to light or contrast or Dracula from the drop down. Uh, the other thing that you can do is you can use the custom font for the appearance. So if you choose custom font and uh, to something else, uh, then you can also customize uh, the size. So that will change the size or the appearance of your pie charm overall. So that's the first thing that you can do. Um, the other thing that you can do uh, which is helpful is the key map setting. Uh, so key map setting is something, so for example, you have been working long in Eclipse ID and you are used to the keystrokes or the shortcuts that you use from the keyboard to uh, do certain um, uh, configurations on your code. So key map setting is basically the shortcuts or the keyboard shortcuts based on the different IDs. So by default, if you see that it's Mac, Mac OS 6 uh, 10.5 key map setting, uh, if you have been using, you know, like Eclipse for, for, for a while, then you can choose key map setting as Eclipse and all the keyboard configurations will be same as they were in Eclipse. So depending which key map setting or which keyboard shortcuts you are comfortable with, um, you can select the key map settings accordingly. As of now, I'll just keep it to Mac OS X um, 10.5 uh, as default. Uh, the other thing is changing the font size, which is really helpful for a recording. So to change the font size of uh, the console, just type in the font in the search, uh, search, uh, search bar here and go to the console font. So below editor color scheme, go to the console font and you can see that there are some console font scheme. So at the moment, the scheme is default, right? So this is the def these are the schemes that come by default with PyCharm. Now, if you want to use, uh, you know, like the bigger font size and some different uh, font scheme, what you need to do is just simply uh, select this cogwheel, the drop down, and duplicate this du uh, default. And what I'll say is I'll just say, um rcv academy um just give it a name uh, font and then i can change the font to i'll change it to fira code medium and then you can change the size as well so i'll change it the size to 20 because uh, you see you know like the console font size depending on if it is you know like a bigger size it's more readable and good for my tutorial so i'll change the font size to 22 and line spacing i'll change it to 1.25 or maybe 1.5 depending whichever is uh, more comfortable reading with now once you're done with this setting uh, you can also enable font ligatures so once you enable ligatures, what it will do is it will give you really nice view of the mathematical operations like equal to, less than, or greater than. So for example, you type in equal to, it will give you a nice view of that, uh, greater than or equal to. Uh, you can see that the, or not equal to, it, it gives you really nice um, view of the mathematical operations in your code and it really looks neat and clean when you're writing the code. So enabling font ligatures is really another very helpful uh, option that you can enable in your uh, console font and uh, color scheme font. So that's pretty much 
for customizing PyCharm. Thank you.